For this problem, we are required to derive an expression for the deflection at pre-end for the simply supported beam loaded as shown. Step number one, compute the value of reaction of support at point A and point B. By inspection, malalaman natin na yung direction ng reaction sa point A ay pababa. Para mangyari yun, kailangan natin ng force na magkikreate ng counterclockwise rotation sa point B. Kaya naman, yung direction ng reaction sa point A ay pababa. By taking the summation of all moment at point B, by taking all counterclockwise rotation as positive is equal to 0, RA times moment arm hanggang point B is L, minus load P at ang moment arm hanggang point B is A is equal to 0. Therefore, RA is equal to PA over L. Step number 2. Draw the possible shape of the elastic curve of the beam. Dahil wala namang ibang load yung beam, mas malamang sa ganito yung magiging itsura ng ating elastic curve. And this distance is the deflection at point C or at the pre-end. Step number 3. Draw a tangent line on the elastic curve taken at any support. Ang tanong dito, sa ang point tayo magdodrawing ng tangent line? Sa point A or sa point B? In general, kahit sa support ka magdrawing ng tangent line. Pero may pagkakataon na mas mapapadali yung solution mo, depende sa loading ng beam at kung sa ang support ka nagdrawing ng tangent line. Para sa problem na to, pinili ko magdrawing ng tangent line sa point B. Mamaya malalaman nyo kung bakit sa point B ako nagdrawing ng tangent line. This distance is the deviation of point A relative to a tangent drawn to the elastic curve at point B. Para naman sa point C, hindi pa natin ma-assure kung yung elastic curve ba is above or below the tangent line. Mamaya malalaman natin yun depende sa magiging sign na makukuha natin sa deviation of point C relative to a tangent line drawn to the elastic curve at point B. Sa ngayon, eto muna yung iasum natin na magiging itsura ng elastic curve at tangent line. Tawagin natin yung distance na to as deviation of point C relative to a tangent drawn to the elastic curve at point B. Step number 4. Construct the moment diagram by parts. Para sa problem natin na ito, yung point B yung kunin natin na axis at doon natin i-moment lahat ng load ng beam. Unahin natin yung RA, ganito yung kanyang moment diagram, pa-triangle. At kapag i natin yung RA sa point B, equal yan sa PA over L multiplied by L, kaya equal na lang yan sa PA. Dito pa lang sa moment diagram, pwede na nating include yung negativity sign since nasa negative side siya. Next is yung load P. Patriangle din yung kanyang moment diagram since concentrated load. At kapag iminomet natin yung load P sa point B, ang moment niya na equal sa P times moment arm times A. Same nung ginawa ko kanina, nilagay ko din yung negativity sign. Step number 5. Compute the value of deviation of point A over B and the value of deviation of point C over B. Ang formula ng deviation of point A over B is equal to 1 over EI multiplied by the area bounded from point A to point B multiplied by bar XA. Next is the formula of deviation of point C over B that was equal to 1 over EI multiplied by the area bounded from point B to point C multiplied by bar XC. Ang reason kung bakit sa point B ako nagdrawing ng tangent line, kasi kapag sa point A ako nagdrawing ng tangent line, kakailanganin ko sa solution yung deviation of point C over A, at kakailanganin ko ng area from point A to point C. So, mas malaking area yung ma-include sa solution, unlike kapag sa point B ako nagdrawing ng tangent line. Kung gusto mong ma-practice yung sarili mo, pwede mo ulit computein yung problem na to, by taking tangent line sa point A. Sa formula ng deviation of point A over B, kakailanganin natin ng distance ng centroid ng moment diagram hanggang point A. At yung distance ng moment diagram natin na included from point A to point B is yung triangle lang at ang distance nito is equal sa 2 third ng L. Next naman, para sa formula ng deviation of point C over B, 
kakailanganin natin ng distance ng centroid ng area ng moment diagram bounded from point B to point C, measured hanggang point C. At yung distance na to is equal sa 2 third ng A. Solving for the value of this deviation, equal yan sa 1 over EI, multiplied by the area ng moment diagram bounded from point A to point B, isa lang yun, so equal yan sa 1 half ng L, times intensity, negative PA, multiplied by bar XA, which is equal sa 2 third ng L, and the value of deviation of point A over B is equal to negative PA L squared over 3 EI. Para naman sa value ng deviation of point C over B, equal yon sa 1 over EI, multiplied by the area of moment diagram bounded from point B to point C, equal yon sa 1 half, multiplied by A, multiplied by intensity, negative PA, times bar XC, which is equal sa 2 third ng A. And the value of deviation of point C over B is equal to negative PA cubed over 3 EI. Ano yung ibig sabihin ng sign na negative sa deviation of point A over B? Ibig sabihin nun, yung elastic curve is below sa tangent line. Therefore, tama yung location ng deviation natin sa point A. Para naman sa sign ng deviation of point C over B, ibig sabihin nun, yung elastic curve is below the tangent line. So, tama yung assumption natin ng location ng elastic curve sa point C. Kung nagkataon na positive yung value ng deviation of point C over B, ibig sabihin nun, yung elastic curve natin is above the tangent line. Step number 6. From the relations between similar triangles, determine the deflection at point C. By ratio and proportion, makukuha natin yung value ng deflection sa point C gamit din yung value ng mga deviation na nakuha natin. Kung mapapansin natin, meron tayo ditong similar triangle. At ito yung panggagalingan ng solution natin para makuha yung value ng deflection sa point C. The deviation of point A over B is to L is equal to this distance and that distance is equal to the value of deflection at point C minus deviation of point C over B over A. From this ratio and proportion, substitute lang natin yung value ng deviation na nakuha natin. Pero hindi na natin i-include yung sign sa solution. Kasi ang pinag-uusapan na natin dito sa ratio and proportion is value na lang. The value of deviation of point A over B is equal to PA L squared over 3 EI over L is equal to the deflection at point C minus deviation of point C over B equal yon sa PA cube over 3 EI over A. Ipag-cross multiply lang natin yung ating equation. Ito ay magiging PA squared L squared over 3 EI. Nalimutan yung I dito. Equals deflection at point C times L minus PA cube L over 3 EI. Ilipat ko yung term na to sa kabila, tapos yung buong equation ay i-multiply ko ng L. So, the deflection at point C is equal to PA squared L over 3 EI plus PA cube over 3 EI. Kunin natin yung common factor na equation, which is PA squared over 3 EI, then this is L plus A. This is the value of deflection at point C.